Hold up. What's going on guys, Mr. Clasher here, welcome back to another Clash of Clans video, and as I promised, today's uh, subscriber, uh, base, subscriber base reviews episode 8, so I haven't done this in a while, and I do apologize for that, but um, um, if you guys don't have, don't get your base reviewed this time, there's always a chance next week and the week after that, so please be patient, um, but I did choose actually, how many people, I think I chose like 4 um, so, yeah, around four people. So the first one is, um, and I chose these randomly. I just scrolled through comments and I kind of closed my eyes and I just randomly chose the comments. Um, so the first one is Sam Walker and let's see, he's in the clan, um, let's see what kind of clan he's called. This is actually, I've never heard of this clan before, um, but I think this is the clan. Yeah, there we go. That's the clan, and his name is Sam, so um, he might be down here below. Let's see if we can find him. So, Jacob, um, let's see. Yeah, there we go. Okay, his name is Sam, level 91. That pretty good level. And let's see, he's Town Hall 9. All right, so look, let's look at this farming base. So, obviously, this is a farming base, and looks like he's trying to protect his Dark Elixir and some of his Gold and, and Elixir at the very center and the defense layout is actually pretty good in this base it definitely probably distracts giants um and it's probably not going to be easy to get inside the core and get the dark elixir um air defense is actually a pretty good placement he's upgrading one of the air defenses um his king's level 10 uh, what kind of armies is he carrying uh, archers giants a couple healers and some wall breakers so not too bad his wizard towers um i would definitely upgrade these walls near the center that's for sure like i would do it asap because uh having walls inside the core is the most important because i'd rather have um, stronger level eight or nine walls inside the core than outside but otherwise the clan castle expos are pretty centralized um overall this is actually a pretty cool design i've um, never seen this kind of base before so yeah, pretty cool design. Um, you guys can leave in the comment section below. What do you think of this Town Hall 9 farming base? I think it's pretty cool. Otherwise, his defense layout is really, really good, I think. And uh, um, here, replacement is a little bit on the outside, but at least it does protect some of the storages. So good job, Sam. You have a pretty good Town Hall 9 farming base. And the next one, uh, the next clan we're doing is called Hustlers. So let's search them up real quick. All right, so we're gonna be searching them up, and uh, his name is Stober. So I'm, there's a lot of clans named Hustler. Maybe he's in this clan. So his name is Stober Seven. Let's see if we can actually find him. Um, really wish he left the clan tag down. Would would have been a lot easier, but I don't see his name. Yeah, I don't see his name in this clan. So whenever I do base reviews. If, if there's a ton of clans and I can't find the guy, just move on to the next uh, person. So I don't think that's the clan. Yeah, I'm not sure. There's a lot of clans named like this. So um, it's going to be pretty hard finding his base out of these people. Maybe he's in this clan. So his name is Stober7. Sorry about that if you're watching this video, bro. I can't find your clan. You should have left the clan tag. As I said in the video, it would have been much easier. So the next person we're doing is uh, actually one of cool guys that actually visits our clan sometimes. And the clan he's in is Dark Fallout 2. Alright, and his name is Mojo28. So let's go and check him down he's a really cool guy i think he's farming in gold league at least that's the last oh I mean, no he's silver one so all right looks like he's level 112 and uh oh my this is a town hall 10 base i didn't know he had town hall 10 but this is an interesting base layout i'm never gonna i've never actually seen this town hall 10 base layout so it looks like he is um somewhat farming because the town hall is kind of on the outside and relatively easy to get unless uh you know 
the Archer Tower, Cannon, and the Inferno Tower, you know, destroy an army, but otherwise, the Town Hall isn't too hard to get, and all the loot is inside the core. And this is a pretty cool design, I think, because uh, both Inferno Towers do protect uh, each of the sides, so no matter what side you attack from, um, the Inferno Tower will be hitting you. Uh, this is actually a really cool base, I like it. Um, the Dark Elixir storage is protected heavily, so if you want to try to get that, it's going to be pretty difficult. Um, I think this is a <laughs> this is a really good layout. I mean, he's got compartments centralized. Um, everything is in the center. I wonder if he made this base by himself, but Mojo, if you're watching this, bro, you got a pretty good base. I really do like it. Expos are a little bit on the corners and on the edge. Not my preferred choice, but they do protect uh, half the base, each one of them, so... You know, as long as it protects your loot, I'm good with that. But I'd rather have um, Expos close to the center. But overall, this is a really good base. And I think Mojo just keep farming and up, keep upgrading those walls. Those level 10 walls look really, really good. So yeah, very good base. Tell me in the comment section below what you guys think about this Town Hall 10 base. Um, and then our next one, actually our last guy, is actually from Proud Gamers. And... Uh, so let's search them up real quick. They're they're one of our family clans. Alright, so let's search up Proud Gamers. Alright, so... After my second account is going to be in Pacific Eagles, I'm going to join back to Proud Gamers and help them out because they need some help. Um, especially in Clan Wars. They really do need help. But anyway, his name is Peter. So if, let's see if we can find... All of these guys are awesome. Like Justin, DSR, Iband. Man, I wish this clan was known more a little bit and had more members because they are really cool. But uh, his name is Peter. I think he is... Yeah, there we go. Gold. Um, so let's check out his base. And whenever my second account talks in that clan, it seems like Peter is always on. Alright, looks like Peter got actually destroyed. And looks like this is a Town Hall 8 um, trophy push base. So, it's kind of hard to uh, figure out, but he did get two start, I believe. And, um, so his air defense placements are pretty good, actually, because, uh, all these three of air defenses protect the town hall, so that's pretty good. Um, I would get those air defenses up if I were you. I mean, level five are pretty good, but at level six, they're really, really good and can make a big difference. So, motors are centralized as well. Um, it's kind of hard to see when, uh, his base got nailed. But level 6 mortar is pretty good. Uh, there's one down here. And looks like this is a little bit of, of a... I wouldn't say a southern teaser. But I wouldn't attack if I was a town hall 7 or 8. I wouldn't attack from um, this side. Because there's just too many defenses really. Um, and just... Yeah. I don't know how I would attack this base. But uh, let's see. He's got defenses up in here. So this is uh, what he's trying to do I think. Is to make an anti three star base against Town Hall 7s and 8s. And uh, yeah, so anyway, this is a pretty cool base, I think. Layout. I wish he wasn't, you know, two stars so I could see all his buildings, but uh, looks like he's farming as well. So yeah, that's Proud Gamers, our family clan. Um, if you guys want to join that clan, you guys can. But this is episode 8 of cl cl um, subscriber base reviews. I was about to say Clan Wars. But anyway, if you guys did not get your base review, there's always next week. But anyway, hopefully all of you did enjoy this video. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you all on my next video.